What's up YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks, thank you guys for tuning in. I want to make this quick video because I've, I get asked this question a lot and it's probably probably because I'm mentioning, uh, I'm mentioning it a little more in my videos, but I'm constantly asked what my SPG or salt, pepper, garlic ratio is. And that's a good question. When I was trying to figure out the exact measurements of each one, uh, I ne could never get it down just right uh you know i would always do like a 50 50 mix of salt and pepper and then just add a little bit of garlic powder um and it's just it just it just wasn't right now in in doing a little research asking around and then seeing videos of other professionals who use this exact ratio or a ratio very similar to this i was able to kind of narrow it down to the recipe that i have now and it's a recipe that is actually perfect. It works great. In fact, uh, I have a hard time keeping my SPG mix in stock here at the house. My wife uses it for everything. <laughs> everything. She will not touch any rubs that I have. Not one single rub. But my SPG mix, I can't keep it in stock. I've got to make it constantly. So, uh, it's, it's a... A simple season simple rub that can be used on multiple different uh, food items from burgers to I use it on all my meats even in competitions my brisket ribs and chicken as my first layer uh, to vegetables to you name it if, it if it needs seasoning this SPG mix is perfect for that so I'm gonna show you what um, or how I make it it, very very simple so I've got to make some anyway so why not so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with four tablespoons now it really doesn't matter what measurement you use when I make a batch I usually I usually use a tablespoon but however you make it whether it's a tablespoon if you're using a teaspoon if you're making large batches and using like a cup whatever measurement you're using it's simply a four two to one ratio four being kosher salt I don't use table salt you got to use kosher salt so in this case I'm using four tablespoons if you were using a teaspoon it would be four teaspoons of kosher salt so I have four tablespoons of kosher salt we're gonna add to the mix here I'm just putting it in a uh, you know in a shaker so four tablespoons, a four part is the kosher salt. The two part, I'm using two tablespoons of granulated garlic. Don't use a powdered garlic, uh, garlic. use granulated. It just kind of helps prevent that clumping. So two tablespoons of garlic powder. And the one is gonna be your coarse black pepper. I don't use table pepper, again, your, your kosher salt, your granulated garlic, your coarse uh, peppers, you want that, you want that texture that these give you. So one tablespoon of uh, coarse black pepper. So we're gonna add that to the mix. And we're simply, I lost my lid, I found it. <laughs> simply gonna Get the lid on and make sure you give it a good mix. And that is it. Make sure you mix this thing up really good though. So I'll mix it around for about five minutes just to make sure it's, you know, it's really incorporated. But anyway, my SPG, salt, pepper, garlic, it's a four, two to one, four being the kosher salt, two being the garlic powder, the granulated garlic powder, and one being the coarse black pepper. So I hope that helps you guys. Try it out. I think you're really going to like it again. This is something that we use on everything. Instead of adding like a little salt and pepper to each meal for dinner, we just use the SPG mix. Works great. So I hope that uh, helps you guys. Again, I've been asked this question multiple times and I figured let's make a video and share it with you guys. Hope you guys found that helpful. I will see you guys next time. Take care.